Okay guys, so we're going to start applying some colour work. You'll notice I've started here. Okay, you need to decide where your sun direction's coming from. Okay, so just put a little sun there. And if I'm doing that, then this side is going to be darker. So I'm going to shade and fade this side darker. Okay, so shading heavily, pressing heavily on your pencil. Lift your pencil up gradually to fade inwards. Okay, so you do that on all of these. Okay, so the closer it gets towards the sun, the lighter the tone is going to be. Okay, I'm going to look at the different colours again. Okay, I'm going to do the side of the face here. Bright orange, shade it dark here, fade it towards the middle, okay? Because the sunlight is coming from that direction, we can see it's going to be darker on one side than it is on the other. Okay, another thing to consider is your colour combination. So if you're looking at the work of Kimmy Cantrell, okay, you've got these bright oranges, the bright reds, okay, with those blues and turquoise colours, okay, a bit of purple there as well. On Levis Jones's work, you've got the bright red again, the bright orange, and those electric blues again. So think about that colour palette and how you can include that in your own work. Okay, make sure you're trying to use this shade and fade technique. It will make your piece stand out and make it look more 3D. Your drawing, okay. Um, so when you come to make your cardboard piece, it's called a relief, okay. And a relief means it's a wall mounted sculpture in which three dimensional elements are raised from the flat base. Okay, so we need to make sure when we are applying the colour work that it looks like it's 3D and it's standing out a little. Okay, you can do that with these little bits of detail as well. You got your shading on one side and you're fading to get that lighter tone on the other side. You might decide you want to blend some of these colours together as well, so you could apply a darker tone over the top of that orange of this red and shade and fade that into it. Okay, and we know these lips have got to be this beautiful rich red colour. Okay, so the bottom of the lip here is going to be darker than the top because the top is nearer to the source of light. Okay, so shade and fade. Shade heavily with your pencil, lifting up gradually to get those lighter tones. So shading heavily and lifting up gradually to get those lighter tones. Okay, so remember to use that shade and fade technique to apply your colour work with. Okay, there you go.
Okay guys, so once you've finished your designs and you're happy with them, you can start annotating them, label them up. Okay, so I think I'll probably go with this design, it's my favourite on my design sheet here. So I'm going to say, yeah, I've got the Kimmy Chemtrail, large lips. I've got the zigzag pattern here. Of Lois Jones. Okay, I've got that asymmetrical. Face. And those large eyes as well that are really important. Okay, and I'm going to probably create the base plate out of um, the cardboard okay and then start adding the facial features and all these bits of pattern work on over the top of it okay but that's for next lesson all right and so you might want to label up your other ones and um, where you've got your, your design ideas from as well okay so have a little think about it if i was going to make this one for example i'd have little slices um of cardboard so I'm just going to label that up. And that will create texture. So I'm just going to annotate that in. Okay, here we go. And you just need some annotation on your sketches. So you've got some idea. Next lesson of how you're going to start constructing your relief work.